And the test is whether an ordinary person, a reasonable person or an ordinary person who hears Kibi would be confused whether it is Kibi as we know him um, or the new Kibi they look alike. And so the phonetics really counts. TV Golden Boy Wakasa ah na Golden Boy North American Tour some months ago na eso ko sa tour no no ko jije ni ni fans eni eno eno odi betu dwa se ne hodo do no kakra na nti na wa break no nti wo hwe no atoto no ma ye o be bounce back na one ni fans no e di agro na eno ena amamfo bi e di betu dwa se kidi wo yare wo yare pa che se bi mkra e di stroke nyina e me ma na richi a o ye ni manager sa ye producer e be kasa ya wo che se nya no credit da se kidi stroke enya no se di amamfo si e kasa no e false news and so still na na ebi mu enyi ndi enei wa be kasa a wo kire se nkofu bi nsem bi a mo kikan enya no kure kidi na nkasa e dia beto ni pitch a wo kire se nkofu bi nsem bi a mo kikan no enya no kure da se na se de ne yesi o manfo sika no no na mpo wo yare ya no e se o hwe no ho ayare sa ne fans ne ne managers o mo bo anu pa ma se se ne ho ato no a se se wa bounce back a o ba be bo adwuma ndi se de nkofu e de false news and anti you know and you know credit that until you need some our try yeah and they say a little under two months ago i made the painful decision of counseling my thought to take care of my health that included taking time off social media in that time i have been overwhelmed by the outpouring of love from family friends fans and the brands i work with you all made me feel incredibly loved in this difficult period and I can't appreciate you enough. Unfortunately, a few bad actors took this as an opportunity to spread false stories that got a lot of you very concerned. While I do not want to give it any more attention, I want to categorically address that those stories were false. I am glad to be back to doing what I love most creating music and performing for you. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Love, Kiddy. And the same way I'll try and this video or sepo the whatever or sepo se or no de yo and no and what they can why then the page in Instagram ni the Facebook ni whatever pages are or and um ti kiddi uh ababe kasa what you say say no bounce back in tibe who kiddi and him I shen and him. Na ya concern for from Susua a yeah look alike as you say or more p or social and any media and also no uh kwami region look alike uh family look alike um uh kiddi look alike uh, uh, medical look alike. Nani papa kupa ni huwe hipa amount for a bonnet chipa I can promise look alike. No, I know they just say, Oh, she comment session and can sounds and can sounds of a two one as soon. I know ana look alike, look alike. Yeah, and a lawyer Bobby Benson, HSA, Yabusan on what you say. Um, almost me as you almost. So, I want to look alike, look alike, seminal, a year no more be a wound here. I am ra, a timmy, a bit me a quetia or more. Now, I'm on my watch or more. And you may be as only a careful pa. And you know, now you could see lawyer Bobby Benson said you see a church room near bar, a bit was. So, if tomorrow Kwame Eugene says that he wants to sue his look alike, is there any law in our, in our books that will make this possible? Um, okay, so there are two sources of law. Um, in Ghana, we have what we call the common law and we have the statutory provision, the Acts of Parliament. So the Acts of Parliament, what I think you can look at is what they call the Unfair Competition Act. It was passed in the 90s that allow somebody to sue that another person is um, um, taking advantage of his reputation to make uh, undue gains economically. Then the common law can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Can, can you hear me? Can yes. Me? We can hear okay. you now. Okay. And the uh, common your law... Was tripping, but we can hear you now. Okay. The common law of what is called passing off. So I said he could sue under the Unfair Competition Act and then the common law of passing off to make the argument that these so-called look-alike are taking advantage of his reputation 
and his intellectual property and his rights, image rights, whatever you want to call it, to 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 deceive his followers, Kwame Eugene's followers. And because of that, he has lost X amount or Y amount of money because of that. But like I indicated in my opening um, remarks, the, I think that the burden would have to show, uh, the burden would be on Kwame Eugene or whoever decides to sue these people to prove that indeed they, these lookalikes represent them, they represented themselves as the A-list a artist. So I heard one of your speakers say that with Kwame Eugene, somebody went to take money for a show when the organizers think they were actually dealing with Kwame Eugene. Yeah, that is Austin the, said that. Yes, that is the one instance where Kwame Eugene for sure can sue and even the organizers can sue these people. And it's even a criminal offense. The, uh, the prosecutors will call it defrauding by false pretenses. And so there's the criminal angle to it, and there's the civil angle to it. So as long, but like, like I indicated, as long as the person buying these services know that, oh, this looks like Kwame Eugene, but I know it is not Kwame Eugene, but I just want him for a particular purpose, then it will be difficult for, difficult for Kwame Eugene to to make any claim on that the, the courts will not um they they are not there to to restrict creativity unless the creativity is used to infringe on the rights of another person so like we normally say in constitutional law your rights ends where somebody's own begins and so all these factors <laughs> would have to be considered before any legal action is taken or before any liability is imposed on another person legally for purportedly trying to steal the work of, of another person. So it's, let, not, let me, it's okay. not a straightforward answer. Go, go on. Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you another hypothetical uh, question. So, assuming that this lookalike goes to perform at an event, now mm -hmm. they don't perform the original artist's songs, they perform other general songs but they identify as let's say kiddie jr kwame eugene jr how does the law find them with this particular uh, situation in this situation i, I think uh, i i i honestly think those that add the junior i think is problematic because clearly um you would see that there's an intention as much as possible to represent themselves as having some uh, relationship with the original artist and so once they are mentioning their names, Kiddy Jr., um, um, Kwame uh, Eugene Jr., or Kim Promise Jr., then they are representing themselves as having some form of relationship with Kwame Eugene or Kiddy, as it were. You know, generally, the law does not give any protection in names unless you have been able to prove that you have built a reputation or goodwill in that name. So, for instance, uh, Kwame Dazi, you cannot go to Registrar General to do, uh, sorry, or the trademark or the copyright registry to have Kwame, uh, uh, Kwame Dazi trademark or um, you have cop copyright in that name. Because what it means is that nobody else can call his son uh, um, Kwame Dazi, right? But if you use a name like Kibi, which is not a name that is normally associated with the showbiz industry, but you have built that brand, that Kiddy brand, and it's associated with you. Any person that uses the Kiddy brand for economic gains would be deemed by a court of competent jurisdiction to be riding on the goodwill you have built on that brand. And so you, Kiddy, or Kami Eugene, as it were, would have a right to sue that person for infringing on your, on your, on your intellectual property. So, and it's a good question because I was waiting for you to get there. And so to the extent that they are adding Junior to, the, to their name, I think that it, it, it aligns towards that, okay, they intend to take advantage of somebody's goodwill or somebody's reputation to, to benefit economically without the, the original, origina the originator, rather the originator of that brand benefiting from it. Okay, lawyer, what if they spell these names differently? Let's say Kiddy, and the person decides to maybe spell it. The, 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 um, um the passing off is uh, not only. Hey, Kwame, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. The passing off, the law against the passing off or fair competition 
it's not only in the optics it's also in the phonetics and so um really yes it's in the phonetics because as we speak now when you mention kiddie uh-huh. i would not know whether you meant k-e-e-d-i or q-e-e-d-i i will hear kiddie and the and the phonetics is the same as the kiddie that i know you understand and so the, the the law against the passing of is not only in the optics or the visuals but also in the phonetics and so it will count for nothing even if you spelt it differently as long as they sound the same and the test is whether an ordinary person a reasonable person or an ordinary person who hears kiddie would be confused whether it is kiddie as we know him um, or the new kiddie they look alike and so the phonetics really counts well this is interesting so it, it means that if somebody somebody bobby bouncing and somebody spells your bouncing let's say b u n s i n g just yeah. because they sound alike they are liable yeah if as long as they are representing their product as mine they are liable as yours yeah okay they're let liable. me give you another situation so the person looks like what, uh, an original artist if you like but the person doesn't even put himself out as that person doesn't perform his songs but decides to tweak still tweak the spelling of the name does it still pass for that like i said as long as it sounds like it but i don't put have... myself i'm not putting myself out there as that person so the so in, so the intention so see, is not to yes, put myself out there as a exactly. person so you have used the right word once you're able to prove that there is no intention so for instance you look like a medica you are also an artist and then you 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 your name is hospital <laughs> or your name is clinical <laughs> or let's say your name is clinical <laughs> but you look like like you but you look like frempon and then he calls himself medica and your name is clinical but you never on any platform associate your brand with his brand then i think that you 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 have not breached any of his right because it will be difficult to create that there is intention so okay so generally you know that they say great minds think alike right okay yeah and so and so in t- protection of your intellectual property is not in your thoughts but in your deeds and it is yeah ojo what's on this canal okay any mama check them san fro a soon top top send party jack mama we are saying can you hey mama ndaba ofa pacha mama in front you know kwa woni abri say masunya ye shino nana na dey say baby am tie you to me e na me wo fa send me sika din kan wo de ko see obi suno ni pakura discount you are the buy and so am ko here e ho send be bre afi kwa do mo busa me say my transaction o hoda ah debi and catch you bro catch offer say on download do tap tap send so download do tap tap send or send this camera wire e baba to say mobile money and our bank account is simple tap tap send yeah tap tap send now o kwen tap tap send dey e wi asia fa na ba bia obi a so wo europe and as america canada so kura android so kuta iphone and once so download do app na to phone so in the process e bi say we promo code e dey an now abo one gana asha ho e ba sa automatically no ye che o 5 pounds and a 5 euros and we more more europe So America and Canada yeah chew eh yeah, $10 for free. Who oh, send this cancel? Yen to we. Tap tap send it here. No fee. Hey, they just say who can you? Tap tap send. Pop pop no no.